Well, hello, hello, everyone. Ashanti Titus here with Profit Mode Financial Services. I hope that you are having an amazing, amazing day. And one of the things I want to talk about today is what happens or what should happen when you use your personal credit card or your personal bank account to purchase items for your business. One of the things that you need to know and understand is that you can actually get reimbursed for your the monies that you pay that pertain to your business. For example, if you are purchasing, let's say paper or pencils, or if you need to buy jump drives or um, equipment or things like that for your business, then you can actually reimburse yourself for those items. However, there is a specific way in which you have to go about it in order to make it legitimate and validated. And one of the ways that you do that is through paperwork, okay? And so essentially what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to provide the receipts and then what it is used for. And I was, um, and I'm coming up with these videos um, because I have had clients in the last few days where we're filing taxes and things like that and making it known that this is what needs to be done going forward so that you can make sure that you're getting the full benefit of, you know, of your business and what you're doing. Okay. So the reimbursements. Essentially, what you're going to need is to be able to document it. You need the receipt and you also need the time and the dates and what exactly was the item used for. Okay. And that can be done on a simple form. And this is one of the many ways that's going to help to protect you and uphold your end of things if you're ever audited by the IRS. I always like to say a lot of people, they try to avoid audit. I don't think you can, you know, avoid anything you can but you can prepare for it right i think um you know there's a certain percentage of people who are audited more than others depending upon you know the type of entity that they have how they do their income how they keep you know what i mean like there's different things like that that um makes it more likely for you to be audited however you know s corps are audited c corps are audited individuals are audited so it really i mean and you could and you know by happenstance you can be one of those persons that is picked to be audited right so the thing the best my rule of thumb is the philosophy that i like to take on is instead of trying to avoid an audit let's always be prepared for an audit so that you're not you know, of uh, like frantic, anxious, and fearful when audit time comes. So one of the ways to do this is to make sure that you have your paperwork ready to go um, as it pertains to reimbursements, you know? So there doesn't, we don't want there to be any ambiguity when it comes to um, what money is personal, like money that I'm taking out to spend for myself, and then what money is the company's money because that creates all types of other legal issues and things like that. And if you are, to so all of my new entrepreneurs, make sure, please, please, please make sure that you have your personal bank account and your business bank account separately. Do not intermingle those funds. When you want to pay yourself, make a clear um, check or transfer over from your business to your personal account. That it becomes an accounting nightmare, not only an accounting nightmare, but it also, it makes it very difficult for you to, like in a court of law, they call it uh, piercing the corporate veil. Um, it makes it hard for um, individuals outside parties to take your company seriously. They're gonna say that she or he used this business account as a personal account. And then it exposes your liability to things. Okay, so um, that is pretty much what I wanted to bring to you today. If you found this video helpful as a new entrepreneur, then please click the like button, share and subscribe. We're definitely trying to grow this channel. It's a free way for you um, to grow, help us to grow this channel and to help as many entrepreneurs as we possibly can to um, become more organized, which in, which in turn helps them to become more profitable and be able to help others, okay? That's what it's all about here, all right? Until next time, stay profitable and stay great. Bye, y'all.